What's up, guys? It's time for the rematch between our two Protoss players, Young Hua and Super. Yes, it is. And who do you think is going to get out? You know, I want it to be Young Hua because I love seeing him in the round of 32 in Code S. I don't know if he's cut for it. Young Hua always has these, um, the, 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 the strategies there, it's, it's smart play, but it's so bumpy. They're, it's so dramatic even when you do see him win because so many things go wrong. I, I, I don't think um, after what I've seen from him today, he has it in him to get out. Uh, I, I like if either of them advance, I'm happy, but I guess in the same sense, I'm sad. I wish they could both be in, but uh, I think Super is going to win this one. He is on the momentum from winning that PVT, and Young Hua just played a, a PVP that was pretty rough for him in his last match in the winner's match. I just He's after what I saw there, PVP I'm like, today, and that's got to be exhausting too. Yeah, it's really or mentally taxing. You know, maybe I could turn it for the best. Maybe he's very warmed up. I mean, it really depends on uh, the kind of mindset the Young Hua is in right now, and only Young Hua truly knows where he's at. That was a rough series of the last PVP, the failed cannon rush yeah. that seemed almost like a, 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 an experiment not something you bring to the table when your career is on the line. Yeah, that was a bit funky. Super. Uh, look, he's all around solid. I mean, he did lose to Young Hua before, but that doesn't mean that he's not in good shape now uh, to possibly pull through here. Anyways, uh, our first game has now started up. This is our final best of three to figure out which of our two last players gets out of Group D here in the tournament, which tries to seed the very best of the best players into Code S. Here at Gom EXP. Ooh hoo hoo! Jeez. Calm down, tasteless. Jeez. Yoha. Jeez. You keep saying that, you're me lactose intolerant, tasteless. <laughs> We're gonna find out if uh, if Young was lactose intolerant in a second. <laughs> I guess so. Hey man, he might be lactose intolerant and get bucket of yogurt stuffed in his mouth. In the upper left. Cheesing. Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, you ever go to Chuck E. Cheese, man? Yeah, dude. Pizza was not that like, good. Like, Dad, I need more quarters. I have to beat the Ninja Turtles game. I, like, only played the game where you, was it Ski Ball, where you, like, roll the ball up, you, like, and it hits a bump at the end and goes into one of the little circle things? Yeah, I know that game. I always was really good at that game. I was, I was like, so good at that. Played. I was so good at that. I would throw it so hard it would hit the net and always go in the hole. Yeah. And people are like, well, Tasis, you're 25. Why are you hearing Chuck E. Cheese's play in this game? <laughs> I almost got Wolf to get hot six blood of his nose. <laughs> I just, like, <laughs> I, I've seen those, like, 25-year-olds at Chuck E. Cheese, though. Oh, look, it's DRG. DRG. Oh, DRG, DRG is a also a, a... He's a fan of the GSL? He's also a GSL oh, wow. fan? Who would have thought? He also likes chewing gum, apparently. Yeah. That was cheese, actually. He's eating cheese, too. <laughs> Stay with the program, Wolf. Okay. It's cottage cheese in there. It's cottage cheese. No, that's that's where he lives. He lives in a cottage made out of cheese. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty cool build, by the way. We've seen actually people die to this. <laughs> it's double gate uh, into core, and you yeah. don't make any more than 12 probes. Into and you what are probes? I've never heard of those before. <clears throat> yeah. You, you just use all of your resources on getting these gateway units out, and you do not make any more probes. And then if you... If you kill the first stalker, then usually you just win the game because there's no way for them to like micro the way out of it. It's a uh, build we've seen him do in Pro League actually. As I believe it was him. We've seen this build definitely in Pro League before. Okay, scouted. That's a really weird zealot that Yawa made, by the way. Like that's pretty rare. Well, let's see what it does. It might actually be um might be know, saving grace here. Yeah, actually. I was gonna say, and under these circumstances. Oh great position there on that zealot. Wow. Oh, he's going to get the probe, too. No, he's not. Now, it's actually more important he keeps that Zealot alive so the uh, uh, Stalkers can get up here. So it's two Stalkers versus one, so he just needs to make sure he has his Stalkers targeting. That pylon is for high ground vision, so he yes. can uh, shoot from the low ground there. It also can create a confusing situation here as well, so what's actually going on. Uh, yeah. He sends a Stalker up. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Zealot up. Could actually just start targeting that Stalker now. Needs to keep his shields if as much as he can. Ooh, that was a bit sloppy. Yeah, I don't know about Actually, this. Actually, Young Hua might just hold this now. Yeah, you think he's totally fine? <coughs> there is no way out of this build. There is no spoon. I don't think <laughs> I don't think Young Hua's making an oracle after this if he holds no, it. No, I think we've learned from there that, you know, <laughs> that or Tempest. So I don't think he's going to go for either of those after the proxy. So 
this is pretty straightforward. I mean, everything is down there at that uh, outpost south of Younghua's base. I mean, it's three versus two. He doesn't have to be this careful anymore. This pylon can also tank some shots, you know, as you can see here. The pylon's very tanky. <laughs> Does anyone else think the pylon has the too much armor? It's, it's got too much armor here. I didn't know the pylon was supposed to be a tank in StarCraft 2. Uh, now he's... Okay, there's GG. GG. Whoa. Record time there. That's, I wasn't even warmed up to cast that. That's okay. a good feeling for Yongwa. He's like, I made the Zealot to go scout and to be a little bit extra safe. Sorry, buddy. I'm lactose intolerant. Actually, no, he's like, I ate that cheese, man. He's like, fine. I ate that cheese. That was fine. He's like, I'll go to the bathroom in about eight hours. It's okay. It was goat cheese. He put the whole thing in his mouth. I was like, damn. I saw on Twitter that you've been playing Goat Simulator. You like tried that game. I haven't played that goat one Goat Simulator? Yeah, I got it. How did you find uh, it? It's okay. Okay. I mean, it's not... Is it like a Gary's mod type? Like, Yeah, it's like it's like a mod. It's it, it, it's good. I mean, it's fun. It's I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit different. But, um, no, it's fun. It's like fun for like you know a few hours and then... Can you move on? I actually it's time to go and get some cheese and move on yeah, your life. Exactly. Uh, I, I downloaded Braid. That's crazy. You should play that. Oh, I actually played Braid. It's Did really you beat fun. it? Oh, I didn't beat it yet. You got to beat it, man. I like played like maybe like a third of the way through, and I got busy. I think that's actually when I came to Korea. The puzzles are quite good, man. We should 